Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I know it has been a little bit since I've made a video. Um, I actually started a new job and I've been really busy so I apologize for that but I'm going to start putting up videos more regularly again. Um, so this look is a fall inspired tutorial with um, very bronzy eyes, kind of a smoky lower lash line and these very berry lips. Um, I left my hair kind of natural and it's kind of curly and messy so I hope you can forgive that. Um, if you'd like to see how I did this makeup tutorial then just keep on watching. So the first thing I like to do is make sure my face is moisturized so I'm using the Elba Refining Aloe and Green Tea Moisturizer from Elba. And it's always nice to apply a moisturizer um, in the fall and winter time. Um, because your face does tend to get a little bit more dry, so I always like to make sure it's nice and hydrated first before applying product. And because I want this to be a very glowy look, I'm actually going to go in with my Becca Backlit um, Highlight and I'm going to apply it all over my face. You don't have to apply this all over your face if you don't want to. You can apply it in just areas that you want to be highlighted, but I just like to apply it all over my face for a nice glow. Then once I'm finished with that, I go in with my Too Faced Born This Way um, foundation. I actually just switched to nude, so I don't have the bottle, but I'm just using a tester that I got from Sephora. Um, I was a darker shade, so I've dropped down to nude now. So I just apply that, and then I'm going to blend it in with a beauty blender. And every time I wear this foundation, I always get compliments on how nice my skin looks. Um, I think it's because I'm used to kind of just doing like a matte look. But ever since I've been wearing Born This Way, I've been kind of going on the dewy trend. Um, and I guess I should be because I really do have dry skin. So um, dewy is a nice look. But yeah, I really like this foundation and I like that it's vegan for all of you vegan consumers this is a really good choice and I just think that it's a beautiful foundation and obviously I like supporting Too Faced. Once that's complete I'm just going to highlight using my Flower Beauty um, concealer pen. This is in the shade BC1. I do like this pen for highlighting I just don't like it underneath the eyes because I find that it creases so I do use it um, everywhere else on my face to highlight. So it gives you that highlighted area, but it also gives you some extra coverage. Once that's complete, I'm going in with my Kat Von D Tattoo Concealer. Um, I have been liking this for blemishes and like redness, but I find that underneath my eyes it does show dark circles. So if anyone else has a better suggestion, um, please leave it in the comments below. I usually use NARS Creamy Concealer, so I know that that's a good one. Um, I'm just trying to think of if there are any other good options for specifically under eye. Um, so if you know one, just leave me a comment below. That would be very nice. Now I'm trying a new product for me. This is the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. Never used this before just got all over me um, and I'm applying it with my Real Techniques uh, brush. I've heard really good things about this so we're gonna give it a, sh a shot today and it was extremely cheap so let's see if it's worth the hype. did add some brightness which is nice and that's all the powdering I'm gonna do today which is so not like me but I'm trying to branch out and do the doing this so we're gonna leave the rest um, and we'll move on to the rest of the face. I'm gonna contour using my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit because this is funny I've hit pan on almost all of them now so um, I was lucky enough to get another one from Sephora so this one is gonna be called quit soon but yeah I've hit pan on these two 
um, and on the contouring shade, so it is very well loved. I'm just gonna sculpt out those cheekbones using my NARS Ina brush, my trusted brush. Also, excuse my roots, I am getting my hair done on Monday and I've decided that I'm going for a Blake Lively Brond color, which is like a dirty, dark blonde, kind of light brown, honey blonde. Decided I need a change for fall, so we're gonna go with that. Cheekbones, yes. <laughs> So I'm going to bronze up my face now that I have some cheekbone action going on and I'm using my Physicians Formula Bronze Booster because what would a tutorial be of mine without using that? <laughs> I apologize, I'm so typical with some products, I just love them and uh, yeah, they get some good use out of them. And then I'm using a cheek product that I don't think I've shown on my channel before. I've shown it, but I don't think I've used it. I'm using the ColourPop um, Super Shock Cheek in Cheerio. So I'm just applying that with my fingers. I love these blushes, they're so nice. And once I've blended it out with fingers, then I do like to go back in with a, my Beauty Blender and blend it out just to make sure that everything is looking nice and smooth. Then we're going in with something that I am late to the game on, but um, we just got it back in at Sephora, so I was super excited when I saw that we got it. So I jumped on buying it because they have stopped making it. So if you don't have it yet, this may be the time that you want to pick it up. But I am hopping on the Champagne Pop trend. And I really, really like it. Um, all the girls at work like it as well. So I jumped on the trend. Um, yeah, this is like gold. And I love bathing myself in it. So just taking an angled brush. And... Dusting that magic right on those cheekbones. And I was told that it doesn't like necessarily show up on fair skin. And that may be true for some people, but I find that it looks nice on me. It shows up on me, so if you're like my skin tone or darker, you might want to give it a try. I don't know about lighter than me, but I'm pretty fair and it looks good on me, so... And I like highlighting to the heavens with this thing, like just bridge of my nose. I'm going around the brows. I want like Jaclyn Hill to see me from Florida with this thing on. <laughs> Tip of the nose, Cupid's bow and a little bit under the brows as well. Go big or go home. So first I am going in with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and applying that all over my lids. This is going to give me a nice base for the pigment to show up. So first I'm going in with a shade from Core Cosmetics called Peach and I'm applying this into the crease with a uh, tapered crease brush. So because I have hooded eyes I am just applying it slightly above the crease and into the crease. Then you just take a fluffy blending brush and blend out those edges. Next I'm moving into a bronzy brown shade from my Vice 3 palette called Rain and I'm going to apply this directly into the crease, not above. And once again you're going to blend that out. I am being cautious of blending it very high. I do not want it to um, consume the peach color I've already used. So I'm just going in small circular motions to make sure that it stays in relatively the same area.
Then I'm going into a matte black shade called Revolver and applying that directly into the outer V of my eye. And once you've applied that, you can again blend it out. I am going in small circular motions and using a light hand. Once that's done, I'm going back in with the peach shade and just highlighting a little bit above rain just to bring some pink back into the look. Once that's complete, I'm taking a damp brush and dipping it into the color Lucky. Lucky is from the Vice 3 palette. It is a very gold penny kind of shade, copper, and I'm going to apply that directly to my lid. Be cautious when applying this wet that you don't look up because then you'll have it into your crease. Once that's complete, I'm going to take the color Rain, which is the brown that we used prior, and I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line. And then I'm going to go back in with that wet brush and apply Lucky to the part closest to my inner eye. Just going to overlap Rain slightly. I'm leaving Rain darker on the outside and using Lucky more in the inner. Then I'm just going to take Bobbi Dazzle, which is a white shimmer shade, and pop it into the inner corner. Once that's complete, I'm going to use my favorite Physicians Formula liner and create a cat eye. Then I'm just applying a coat of my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Then I'm just applying a pair of Ardell Falsies. Then once they're on and the glue is dried, I just like to go over with my liquid liner and hide all the glue. Then moving on, I just brush through my brows. And I'm going to be using Core Cosmetics Brow Product. I've used this before in a tutorial. This is in the shade Hazelnut. So it wouldn't be a fall tutorial if I didn't do a berry lip. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Taking one of the new e.l.f. lipsticks in Bordeaux, Bordeaux Berry, I'm going to apply that to my lips. So these lipsticks are actually some of my favorites. So if you'd like to see a lip swatch slash haul video, let me know because I do have almost all of the colors. So I definitely can do that. So this is Bordeaux Berry. So they are very moisturizing, but I just wanted to show off this and add it as well. Um, I got this at Sephora. It was the 250 point kit. It's the Bite Limited Edition lipstick and lip gloss in Cure Royale. So I'm just going to apply a little bit to the center of my lip. And that is the completed look. So thank you for being patient. I know I haven't made a video in a while. So thank you for watching. And I really hope that you enjoy this um, fall bronzy berry lip tutorial. Um, I know there are quite a few out there. But I just thought I'd do a little a bit different with more of a penny bronze color. And this really pretty berry lip. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give me a big thumbs up like and subscribe. Thanks so much guys. Bye.